Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at AMC Entertainment, tickets of all AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be looking at shorts increasing their positions by 39%, the 4.86 billion short shares of AMC, and the reason we are currently down and many more in this video, so make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC and Ape. So if you take a look at AMC today, we closed at 657, we are down 7.98% and we went below the 687 and 703. So still, if we compare it to last week's close, we are still above last week's close. However, what we can obviously see is the fact that the two support areas that we have broken, which is now of course resistance, of have been now rejected and we are seeing the price going down. But we have to understand that this was to be expected. We have talked about how this are obviously pivotal zones. What we have seen before previously was of course the whole areas coming in at these areas. Again, marking it out for you guys, where when we broke the eight, uh, 84, there was a halt. When we broke the um, 703, there was a halt. So you can obviously understand that hedge funds don't want us to actually stay above these zones because of the danger that it poses. And so when we are seeing the price break above it, we're definitely going to be met with a lot of rejection and of course pressure coming down, which again, guys, is what we're talking about in, in terms of increasing their short position, the amount of short shares that are over AMC, and of course, something else in terms of the dot pool that we're going to be looking at later on. But like I said, guys, this week, as long as we close above 703, it will still be very, very good for AMC. If we take a look at Ape, Ape today, we are down 9.66%. And so it turns out we can't obviously hold this area coming in at 194 and 203. Now, like I said, guys, the short term technical analysis for Ape is only important for you to understand what it's doing in the short term for those people who want to trade Ape. For those of you who want to hold Ape for the long term, obviously, if the conversion were to happen, then it does not matter what technical analysis do now because the price of Ape will catch up to Ape. AMC. But in terms of the technical analysis right now for the short term, what we're seeing from Ape right now is obviously breaking below the support, which is now resistance. However, is a there is a likelihood that this is the fake out if and this is if on the first day of tomorrow we can see the price actually break above it again. So we see buyers coming in and the close above 203. It's a very high chance that this week will end above 203. But that point of testing the 241 and 244 will no longer happen. Now Let's take a look at this. So we got this from AMZ to Moon who talks about shorts is increasing their positions by 39%. However, this is with AMC expanding to other industries and box office numbers projected to be back to pre-pandemic levels by end of year. Absolutely wild. So again, this is what we're talking about in terms of seeing the price go down. We are definitely seeing the pressure coming in from shorts right now as they are obviously increasing the amount of AMC that they short. This is something that we are obviously expecting, hence why we're seeing the price drop. But what we have to understand is the fundamentals for AMC is improving so drastically that these shorts, if they don't cover soon enough, once we go into the future with these fundamentals actually happening, they will burn out these shorts. If you take a look at this, this is something we have looked at, but I thought that we should revisit. This was uploaded on the February the 8th. We talked about the AMC stats over the last 12 months, which What's crazy is the fact that the short volume was $4.86 billion, um, actually 4.86 billion shares. The long volume was 3.48 billion shares. So that means 1.38 billion shares were shorted and still out on low. So this is the amount of short shares we are seeing in AMC right now. We have actually shown the OBV indicator in the past before. Essentially what it shows is buyers are still in AMC. Feel free to check out my previous video, you'll find that very easily. And what that obviously shows is that there are still buyers in this. However, they have created a large amount of naked shorts, of course, onto AMC. Again, linking this with the pressure that we are currently seeing. If we take a look at the stats right now, shares on loan at 197.09 million. The cost of borrow at 253.1%. Utilization at 100%. Now, bear in mind that these are all reported data. 
we have seen that the rules allows for shorts for awesome shorts to not actually report their short data meaning if there were positions held by offshore firms they would not have to actually report their data they would not have to report how many shares they're shorting they would not have to report the cost of borrow for their shorting so there are of course data in which we will not see you can also can see that the short interest value estimate is actually going up um, again, talking about the 39%, obviously what we we're talking about earlier and many, many things. But this is something that we have to obviously understand in the sense that this is continually going to increase as they need AMC to, of course, go down. We know what threat AMC will pose to them. We know how AMC at the blink of an eye could just jump up, but it will obviously have to go above pivotal zones, hence why they have halted AMC in previous times. Before, the 67703 seemed like a zone which if we broke above it, we're definitely going to see momentum, which we can actually see on the Monday as we saw the price break up, we saw the price go up continuously. And so that's why they halted the first time. In the past, when we saw the price break above 824 and 884, it was then halted and the price was brought down. And again, at this 1605 area, which was on the 8th of August, we saw the price go up, but it was halted and the price went down instantly. And so this is what they are trying to do by suppressing the price of AMC, by trying to limit AMC from jumping and just flipping on them. Because if it does, they will obviously have to pay up billions, if not trillions. And this is why the biggest reason, I think, in my opinion, of why AMC in the short term is, of course, down and why we can't do anything about it. So AMC down another 9%. However, only 7.03% of the volume was actually processed on the New York Stock Exchange. 73.04% of the volume actually ran off exchange slash dark pool. 100% utilization, yet we are plummeting. Cost of borrow high, but naked shorting is free. Nothing will stop this after the reverse. So this is something that is, of course, very, very crazy. What we're seeing is definitely the fact that on the NASDAQ is only, or in the New York Stock Exchange, sorry, is only 7.03%. Whereas the off exchange, like you're talking about, is 73.04%. And this is what they're doing. This is why we're not actually seeing the buyer pressure actually coming in from AMC. So when you see times where bias, where we see buyers, of course, come in and we see the price actually trying to break above, but yet we're seeing rejection. That is because of dark pools actually rooting the orders into the off exchange, into the dark pools, and they will not actually hit the market and have an impact on the market. By doing so, not only does it decrease the buy pressure, but it also allows the shorts to actually increase their short pressure. So what we're seeing is, of course, the price then at reflecting this by going down and that's one of the ways that of course bring down amc and this is what we're talking about in terms of right now there is nothing that we can do we understand the dark pool we had this is something we have been talking about for a very long time however as we go towards the conversion as we go towards the reverse split like we have talked about if the QSIP change were to happen, if everything we have talked about in the past were to happen, that will obviously force the shorts to cover. And if that happens to do so, then we're definitely going to be seeing the price of AMC, of course, jump up. You know, AMC is getting fundamentally stronger despite negative media reports about the company. Combined with the naked short selling assaults that AMC is a victim, the reason why AMC is doing all those gymnastics, the reverse split, the conversion to raise the cash, is because of the impact of naked shorts selling on the stock. Again, talking about in terms of, you know, we linking it with the price of AMC dropping, but we have have methods that will combat against the naked shorts, that will combat against the synthetics. And this is something that we have obviously covered. Not only do we have methods that will beat them, like we said, we also have the fundamentals. Like we see the EPS actually beats by 35.63%. And so this is something that will, again, come into fruition in the future. We already have things in the short term that is combating against these shorts, but we definitely have even bigger things in the long term that will definitely put these shorts in a position where they have to cover. If we take a look at this, so this is the threshold security list. Now, if we actually update this right now, what we can see is of course not updated as of the recording. However, we have talked about this on the 28th of February, AMC was still on the list, meaning it was the 18th day it was on the FTD. By understanding this, it obviously shows that the hedge fund still need shares of AMC, hence why we are getting failure to deliver. But that's what we're seeing in terms of the pressure coming in. You know, something else is the fact that 
the funds and the counterfeits are going to keep rolling those options because they are stuck with fake shares. Nearly 1 million puts upcoming. Meanwhile, I'll just hold, love to know who holds them, keep trying funds where we can see, of course, the puts. And off the money, out the money is 916,000. And this is what we have seen. Previously, they have done this and actually got rid of the FTDs. But maybe it's come to a point where it's so big that they can't use this method. But we're definitely seeing them rolling these options. And again, understand how big of a hand they are trapped with. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.